The National Hurricane Center has now upgraded our area off the east coast of the United States, moving towards northeast to a moderate risk of tropical development. Now, I do think that this, if it did develop, would become more of a subtropical area, but it could be our next name storm. At the very least, it would be called Dexter. We're also monitoring another area, though, from a tropical wave that came off the west coast of Africa. That is a low chance out in the main formation region, and I think in the long term, if there is any potential impacts on the United States with any tropical areas, this one would be it. But there's still a lot of uncertainty here, so make sure you take that caveat with it. But first, let's start off with the area closer to home. Uh, that is off the coast of the Outer Banks. You can see this uh, basically this broad low right in here. Uh, some moisture flow coming in off of Florida where heavy rainfall has been taking place. But here's the deal. Look at the dry air towards the north. So it really is kind of getting that subtropical bit of a hybrid if you will of uh, conditions here as it moves towards the north and east. It is over relatively warm sea surface temperatures in that area though into the lower 80s but very quick Quickly, it's going to be moving out of the Gulf Stream towards the northeast, kind of encountering some shear. Uh, also, you know, it is moving away. So no real direct impacts for anybody out here outside of some surf, probably getting kicked up from Bermuda, maybe the east coast of the uh, United States. And we're also possibly looking at another low, maybe developing in its wake off the coastline of the Carolinas. See our high resolution model right here picking up on that. I think the bigger impact, so as far as broader uh, terms here, is this stalled out front here. That is where the low is spinning off of. But that front extends back across southeastern areas of Georgia, northeast Florida. Flood watches in place all across northeast Florida, southeast Georgia because of the heavy rainfall that was seen on Saturday. And more rain is in the forecast behind that. If so, totals could add up 5 to 10 inches in spots. Uh, a very tropical atmosphere. The type of uh, moisture-rich environment you would see when you have a, um, a tropical system. Meanwhile... We have a tropical wave, as I mentioned, off of the west coast of Africa. Now, this has been given a 20%, so still a low chance of tropical development in that extended outlook, according to the National Hurricane Center. Starting to see areas out in this uh, region develop. This time of year is not unheard of. This is actually your classic climatology for the month of August, showing that, yeah, the, the most likely chance of tropical development would be basically where this is at this time. Let's take a look at our ensembles. Um, yeah, you, you can see right here. Okay, so let's rewind it and let's slow it down a little bit. So the GFS, or this is the European, excuse me, really spins this up right there. You see that? GFS in the high pressure ridge south of that in the blue kind of puts any potential development a little bit further towards the south and that would bring any potential tropical systems out towards the east coast and in fact some latest guidance from the gfs pulls the same area closer towards the carolina coast or even over towards florida especially the ensembles the models disagree basically on the extent of the subtropical ridge with the uh, European causing the Bermuda high to weaken a bit, as you can see here, while the GFS keeps it a little bit stronger and pushes it out like that. There's still a lot of uncertainty because this is like a week and a half, two weeks out, as we say, and I love using this graphic. Basically, it's like a good game of pachinko, right? You ever watch the prices, right? Plinko. Um, if you drop it, the further higher up, the the more the widespread the chances are. It's the same thing with long range model guidance and chaos theory. Despite numerical guidance getting much better and better every year, uh, we're talking two weeks out. There's still going to be some uncertainty. But the key thing is, it's warm. You have a tropical wave. Uh, we have um, already kind of that convective area and the long-range guidance, um, different models all indicating the potential for development. Just no one agrees how strong or where. So the point is continue to check back in, and it's that time of year where things do start to pick up. And, um, yeah, it, we could be looking at a new day storm, either first uh, the one off the East Coast or the area off towards the east of the Caribbean. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Make sure you check out firstcoastnews.com, Hurricane Central, for more information.